Hello everyone, today I'm just going to review this new product I just bought. It's the Casio ProTrek smartwatch. The model number is WSD F20. Now I've been reviewing this product, sorry, I've been actually looking up this online, on mainly on YouTube, to see what is available. The most interesting thing is that it's not like an ordinary smartwatch. It has the Android Wear on top of it is probably one of the best GPS um, smartwatch that you're going to get. And that's the most biggest letdown that I had from this um, Apple Watch Series 1. You can see that I have all these um, apps, but it just takes ages to open up. It's just no point. You get to the point thinking, well, what's the really the point I should really you know, use any of these apps? But the main reason I actually wear this, well, I really don't like the design at all. Uh, it looks like a child, five-year-old child's toy. Uh, no offense for Apple, but they really need to come up with a better design for someone like myself. But the only reason I was using this is it has the contactless payment. And I just love that function of not really taking out my wallet to show any of the strangers where my wallet is. So I just need to press that button and make the contactless payment. But surely, Apple could have done better with their design and I never liked it, especially the square. I wanted more circular, bigger screen and so on. So I thought what would be the best um, thing to replace? And unfortunately, Apple is quite limited um, for what, what sort of options you can choose because you need to be a very loyal Apple customer. But I just found out from Casio today that um, Android where this ProTrek smart uh, watch actually had you could technically use it on your smartphone on your Apple watch um, as long as you download this uh, thing called let me just wear OS by Google smartwatch okay so I haven't actually downloaded that yet but I'll download that and the reason mainly I'm making this video is that I haven't seen any youtuber reviewing this product of Casio ProTrek smart watch uh, with the uh, use of the iOS side, of the Apple side. And I would like to um, be probably, if there's none out there, I would like to be the first to review it. And probably it would apply to any of the Android Wear as well, or maybe it's only the Casio Proche. But uh, let's just open it up. Uh, enough said. Sorry about the long conversation, but I hope that uh, proved my point. So it comes with a very thin cardboard finish, which I'm not really a fan of. It basically means that, well, they, they haven't actually put much money. But then again, I mean, the, old, the other thing, by the way, I want to say is that Garmin, the guy who I bought the store, when, when I bought this, sorry, the store that I bought this from, the guy was really selling it hard for the um, Garmin. And they're about five, 700 pounds, which is about, I don't know, 800 US dollars or something and if you, I mean smart from what you expect like if you're unless you're filthy rich I don't think you should spend more than um, four three or four hundred pounds um, if you spend more than that you're then I guess you're filthy rich or maybe you're too much into technology so I thought what's the reasonable price that has a GPS function and also will fun like it will basically have all the most upgraded stuff on top of the Apple but you can see the screen is massive this looks like a man's toy. This looks like a five-year-old child's toy. Um, I haven't actually charged it. I need to charge it, but it has all these. It's quite thick as well, um, if you compare the thickness. If you're into minimalism, well, go for this one, but no, I'm not really a fan. It's very chunky, and I want this to in-your-face kind of um, chunky smart watch. And here it is. So that's the um, smartphone, sorry, smartwatch. And let's look at the actual inside of the package, what's inside there. So it will come with still the really wobbly card. Not really good. What's this? The uh, warranty card, I guess. Um, annual subscription. Okay. Oh, and. Um, there's this all this cabling inside so let's see what's inside here 
we got the um, charging cable okay so that's the USB and I've been told many times from many reviewers that the connection of charging this is not that good so it's, it's let's see yeah it's, it's not really that good it's very wobbly um, you have to I think you've got to, it's magnetic kind of like Apple but then again it's not that strong so you have tons of function as well for GPS mainly walk cycling and so on it's the standard US um, UK plug and um, I think that's the mid part the adapter and the main thing is we got this um, all these fancy manuals and so on so that's what's inside but um, I'm really looking forward to use this um, my eye catching at the moment because I'm so used to the size of this tiny Apple watch it looks huge but I believe as time goes by it might not suit with my um, suit design um, where, when I wear a suit but I think as time goes by I'll get used to the size of this and it will have a lot of function Casio has a lot of function as a child I remember and I'm looking forward to use all that but mainly Apple I mean what you have failed is that really bad mapping service I really wanted I like the contactless but I really wanted that navigation function but it's what's I mean I'm, I'm sure many of you will share that all these apps there's no point especially if you have Apple series one it's no point you just end up not using it because if you open trying to open up something it just takes ages and um, you can see it's like thinking and it thinking and it, you just don't get anywhere um, and you just wonder why bother and but mainly I just want a smartwatch that I could navigate me to the right path and I'm really excited about this but then again I'm making these video mainly because I don't want to interact with my viewers so if you have any queries especially for someone who might be interested who want to get out of this limited design of iOS functioning smartwatch to a Android because technically you could use this for Apple please do let me know what your queries are and I'll come back to you for those who I believe made a reasonable queries and I would like to interact with my viewers and that's what I'm trying to do um, mainly I'm gonna buy the um, Google Pixel 3 hopefully when that comes out and I'm gonna probably gonna do, do the same thing as well ask me a question any queries especially for those who are an a, um, Apple phone user and um, as I said if it's reasonable I'll try to come back to you uh, either with a comment or mainly with the video, shall we say. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is Love Jesus. Please, bye.